Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are going to be making a very delicious custard pie. So easy to make, perfect for the holidays, definitely perfect anytime you're craving a slice of custard pie and I am going to be showing you today how to make this recipe very easily and very quickly. So the ingredients we'll be needing here are some milk, some heavy cream, sugar, vanilla extract, some eggs. What we have here is some cornstarch, some salt, and some cinnamon. You will also need a medium-sized saucepan, and you will also need a nine inch uh, pie shell that has been previously baked. Now, you don't want to bake it to the point where it's a nice golden brown, which is what you actually really want, but we are going to be placing it back into the oven after we have made the custard and poured it into the shell. So you just want to pre-bake the shell probably for about 12 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, um, and then we will place it back in for another 12 to 15 minutes therefore it's important not to completely completely bake the shell so let's move on to making our custard pie into our saucepan we are going to add in our milk we are also going to add in our heavy cream and we're going to place this on our stove top on medium heat and we are going to simmer our milk and cream mixture. It'll probably be between six to eight minutes until you notice it starts to gently bubble up. I'll show you what it looks like when we get there. Okay, so just every once in a while make sure that you give your milk and heavy cream a stir, making sure it doesn't scorch or nothing sticks and burns on the bottom of the pan. And that's about it, and wait for it to simmer. Okay, so our milk and heavy cream has been bubbling up nicely, probably for about 20 seconds, and it has been exactly eight minutes. So I'm going to remove this off of my stovetop, and we are going to work on the next step to making our custard pie. Okay, so in a separate bowl, we are going to add in our sugar, our eggs, and our dry mixture here of ingredients. And we are going to give this a nice whisk. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in a ladle of the hot, warm uh, cream and milk mixture and we are going to mix as we gently pour in the milk and cream here. Because you don't want to scramble your eggs, so you want to be very careful at this point. And just stir very well. So I'm going to add in one more ladle of the hot mixture. Okay and stir well again. If you notice that you have any little piece of scrambled egg or anything, you can always run it through a uh, sieve and that'll be just fine. And now I'm going to add in my egg mixture into my warm heavy cream and milk mixture. Okay, so now I'm going to bring my saucepan back over to my stove on medium heat and we are going to stir our mixture continuously until it starts to thicken, which will take about six to eight minutes. Okay, so you need to make sure that you do not leave this area at this moment because it will easily start to stick to the bottom of the pan and uh, can easily burn. So you want to be careful with that. So stirring every 30 seconds or so is good enough. Now you want to make sure at this point that you start preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Our mixture looks wonderful and I was stirring continuously for about a minute. Now I have turned my stove top off and we are ready to add in our vanilla extract. Okay, so now we have removed our custard off of our stove top and we are going to add in our vanilla and give it a nice mix. 
Okay, so now into our pie shell, we are going to add in our custard. You don't want to leave your custard out um, for too long, longer than a couple of minutes because it will start create, to create a skin on top. So just give it a nice stir before mixing it and adding it into our pie crust. So now we're ready to place it in our pie crust. Okay, so now we are going to place our pie in our preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 to 13 minutes. Okay, so my custard pie baked at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 14 minutes. Now I'm going to allow my pie to be at room temperature on my counter here just for about three hours, between two and a half to three hours, and then we will be ready to try it. Okay, so my pie has been at room temperature for about uh, two hours and a half, a little over two hours and a half. And now what I'm going to do is um, place some whipped cream and some cinnamon. Now this is most definitely optional, but I think it adds a little special touch. And you can just dust it with cinnamon if you like. You can eat it just as it is and it'll be wonderful. But I'm gonna show you how I like to uh, decorate mine. This pie is simply amazing. It's creamy, it's light, it's perfection. It is so, so good and you must give it a try. You are going to love this. So that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye everyone.